And this shows the other reference guide, um, which is definitely going to be your friend um, because it's all about the Adopt 11 board itself. So it's got all the uh, stuff the, the, the other reference guide has plus. It's got specific stuff about our board anyway, and it's grouped timer stuff all together. So let's go to page 22. 17, 19, 20, 21, 22. So it's nice because it shows you the timer unit, the OC1, OC, OC2 to OC5 and what port A pins they control. Okay, like OC2 controls PA6, that's what we've been looking at. It shows you about how the 2 megahertz clock gets divided and produces uh, a count rate. Um, ours is 500 nanoseconds, it ticks TCNT, and also shows you the comparator for TOC2. So it shows you TCNT, TOC2, when they match, it fires and sets bit 6 and TFLG1. Also controls port A pins depending on uh, uh, TCTL1. So flipping down, here's, T T here's the flag bits for. Um, for TOC 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and the mask, corresponding mask bits to enable interrupts. Um, here's TCTL1, and the bit pairs, the two we're working with are these two for TOC 2. And if we want it to toggle, we go a 0 and a 1 in those two bits, so that would be a 40 hex uh, we'd store in TCTL1 if we want it to toggle. If we want it to clear um, PA6, port A bit 6, you would put a 1 and a 0 on those so that. TOC2, when it matches, it would clear PA6. Or you can have it set PA6, depending on your needs. So you do that in your initialization of your program. You only do that once. You're setting the subsystem up to do what you want to do. Either toggle, set, or clear. Or do nothing. 0, 0 would make it do nothing. So you only do that once. You only store a value in TCTL1 once in your initialization. Okay, and that's so that's two, three, four, and five. And TLC one is special. TLC one uses OC one M and OC one D to specify which of the five port A pins you want to control with the mask bits, and what you want it to do. Do you want it to go high or go low? With um, uh, if you want it to go high, which I think is our case, you would put a one in this bit right here corresponding to PA6. These pin numbers are different on our board, I think. Um, anyway, PA6, that's the one we're talking about, the LED one. And if we want it to go high, we'd put a 1 in this data bit. Again, that's initialization. You only do that once. And what else do we have in here? Oh, here's the mask and flag bits. Oh, those are for input stuff, yeah. So that's it. And. Um, so it's kind of cool because it shows you this here, the comparator, and how it counts, and the port A pins that the OC2 to OC5 are connected to, and the tick rates. Uh, oh, this is a real-time interrupt tick rate. Um, oh, here it is. This is the tick rate for TCTNT, TCNT, uh, prescaler. Okay, zero, 00 is the default, that's what we're going with, 500 nanosecond ticks. We've got a 2 megahertz clock, an 8 megahertz crystal, but a 2 megahertz clock. And what this means is uh, it ticks at a rate of 500 nanoseconds, and because it's a 16-bit thing, after 65,536 counts, you would have spent 32 milliseconds counting through that rollover period. Okay, that's what the slash 32 means. So this is the tick rate, and this is how long it takes to roll over, which would be the maximum delay you could possibly get at that frequency. Okay, and I think that's it.